Hey guys, this is Peter, and this week I've been taking a look at a portable power station. This one's from GrowWatt, and it's called the Vita 550. Now, I really like this unit, and I'm going to show you how to figure out if it's going to fit your needs, and if you need to step up, or if this one's going to be the perfect one for you, and how to tell if it's a good deal or not. So whether you're a prepper, everyone's a prepper nowadays with the, the winter we had last year, and you know what, with climate change, we're all going to be having more winters like that. You need to be prepared for a power outage. Having your phones at the ready, that's important. So prepper, tailgater, or a um, camper, this, can, this will work for all of you. And I'll show you some different scenarios and we can talk about what it'll do. The first question you want to ask yourself when you look at anyone's portable power station is what can it do? And there you should look at power, and that's in watts. So this one's a 600 watt adapter or, or power station. It'll support loads of 600 watts. That'll do a lot of things. That will do your electric bicycles. That will do your electric skateboards. It'll do your notebook. It'll do your internet. It'll do lighting. It'll do all sorts of things. But will it do a chop saw? No, it won't. So that's power. So once you have power, 600 watts is good. But next you wanna know, well, how long can it do that for? And that is energy. And energy is measured in watt hours. So we're looking at 538 watt hours. That's the size of the battery. That controls the price, it also controls the weight. So it's a very important spec. 538 watt hours is a good size battery. Now, with a 600 watt load, if you're at its max, it'll support that. But it would support it for less than an hour. If that's okay, this may be the right unit. But uh, I have a couple scenarios. One is for a prepper and one is for a tailgater. And we can even stretch it into camping and, and talk about that as well. So there you go. That's what it, uh, your, what it can do and how long can it do it for. The next question you want to ask yourself is related to this panel. And that's how quickly can it do it again? We're talking about the charging circuitry. And with these new modern units, there's no brick anymore. Make sure you don't get one with a charging brick. It's inefficient and there's something to lose or break. And well, this does so much faster. So look at this. You want to make sure that whoever's you get, you're able to charge the unit, the battery, in less than two hours. So this one has a 538 watt hour battery and it can charge at 500 watts. So yeah, they're saying 1.6 hours because yeah, it gets at the end of it. It wants to slow itself down to protect the battery. And there you go. So uh, 1.6 hours, that's perfect. Next question you want to know, now that we know what it can do, how long can it do it for, and how, how quickly it can do that again, is how long can it do that for? How long of, is it of investment do I have here? And that has to do with the, the LIFEPO4. Well, that stands for lithium iron phosphate. That's the type of battery that it is. I like lithium iron phosphate. It has good chemical density. It is a safe battery and it has a really good number of life uh, of charge cycles as it, it's comparing itself to the nickel uh, magnesium carbide it's a new type of battery chemistry it has a better chemical density so it can do more power in fact it even has some good weight specs however it only lasts 800 charge cycles so protecting my investment this is almost four times better so i like lithium iron phosphate still i want to protect my investment Look at our investment here. We're looking at $449 with a $50 off coupon available at checkout. So $400. That's a good deal. You could almost take the battery capacity of 538 and make sure, convert that to dollars and say, yeah, $538 or less. All right, $400. That's a good deal. That is a really solid uh, purchase here. Now, there is an app that's involved. And I'm going to bring up my phone. Here, I'll just bring it up right now. This is the app. And there's some good features in here. I do like the fact that you, you could have an app that brings this up. Here, it shows me what my battery's looking like, temperature and all of that. I can turn off different power rails. You may want to turn off the DC power or the AC power rail if you're not using it. And uh, there's the Watt Plus that allows us to get up to 1200 watts. Good stuff. Uh, right now, I'm kind of in the prepper mode. I'm, I have two scenarios that I want to show you. Right, one right uh, is I can do, a, well, here, let me put up this picture and show you what I'm doing here. I'm currently charging my phone. I'm providing 60 watts worth of, or an equivalent of 60 watts worth of lighting. That's a bright little light. It's a USB light. It only takes 10 watts. I'm charging my tablet and my notebook. I'm charging my notebook or laptop. 
uh, over USB Type-C. So it's all DC. In fact, this whole scenario is DC. When you stay on DC, you get uh, really good scenarios with longer life. I have both 5G internet and Wi-Fi all running on DC. So I have 19.1 hours in this scenario. That's a great prepper scenario. In the event the power goes out, where kids are still doing homework, we've got lights, we got notebooks, we got phones, we've got everything. We even got the internet. Uh, now, in the next one, I ran this in my garage. I got my TV up on the wall, 32 inch, uh, running on AC. I have that internet and Wi-Fi uh, modem still running, or gateway running, and that's over DC. I have the NVIDIA Shield streaming Netflix. And it run, runs the whole time. It's consuming 50 watts total. And I can do that for seven and a half hours. That means you can go to a tailgate and you could pop it open. You can have your TV launched. You could be streaming the game or highlights, what have you. People could be charging their phone or using the internet. And you could do that for seven and a half hours. Well, I guess if they're charging phones, it would decrease it slightly. But how long do you tailgate for? Five hours? That would be perfect. Now, if you needed to run something bigger, like I want to run a fridge, well, that can take more. <laughs> so here, there's this different scenarios of what you can do. A mini refrigerator might take 850 watts. If that's the case, follow my link and then click this one that says Grow Watt Store. Here's the next one up, 1300. 1300 has also lithium iron phosphate battery, which is 300 life, uh, 3000 life cycles. It's going to last you a long time. Uh, it'll provide 1,800 watts. There's your chop saw. There's your blender. There's all the, in fact, take care of your generator. And look at the, the time that it can do it. You could run all sorts of things. Stretch this into camping and it's easy. You just add a CPAP machine. Standard CPAP is 30 to 70 watts. Not a big deal. If you do have a heated CPAP machine with a, a humidifier, it could go up to 100 watts. So you may want to make sure you get this unit if, it, if that's the kind of load you have, because that's a serious piece of medical equipment and you want to make sure you have enough to get through the evening with it. Grow Watt was also kind enough to send me a solar panel. They sent me their 200 watt panel and I have four of these now. I have four different types of solar panels from different companies. This one is by far my favorite. I like the size, I like the construction, I like the features, and look, I took some pictures. I like the rigidity of it. I love how rigid it is. Speaking of that, when you go to deploy it, it is a little bit stiff. Just put it in the sun for a few minutes. Let it loosen up and then it walks out so nicely. And put it away before it gets too cold because it does, it's really nice cells. You want to take care of this thing. It is super nice. The key with uh, PV panels is you want to be able to charge your battery in five hours or less because that's about how much sun you get a day. So at 200 watts, five hours would give me a thousand watt hours. Easily gets this 530. But with a hundred watt panel, we save a hundred bucks. Look at this. We get down to, with the panel, $100 off. We're looking at $600 even, $599. And that would give me 100 watts to charge with over the day, five hours. In the summertime, I might be able to get that battery charged all the way if I was paying full attention and my campsite had good sun. I like this panel better, but if you wanted to save 100 bucks, there you go. Um, it is a good unit. I like it. And that's how you can see the different scenarios and what it could do. It's just a, a neat, fun unit to play with. And I love all the different features of the app. And you don't need to use the app. But if you want to, it's there and uh, some good information. That's anyways, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps. If you haven't seen my channel before, please consider subscribing. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.